How's it going, guys? Welcome into Rover Sports tonight, and we're doing a little podcast tonight on uh, Buffalo, uh, on the Bills specifically, and that's what we're going to do. We're talking about them, and we're talking about the AFC East, kind of breaking it down here as we kind of get into uh, early June here on um in our calendar so this upcoming season it it means a lot to the Buffalo Bills uh last year uh the loss to the Houston Texans in the playoff game certainly hurt but making the playoffs two out of three years with Sean McDermott and for Josh Allen to go 11 and 5 I think it was a really really successful uh campaign was last year it set the groundwork for this year now when you look at the Buffalo Bills and you kind of analyze now their division. Tom Brady is now gone. Sam Darnold is pretty much coming into the NFL this year, or he's he's going into his third season. But Sam Darnold, I believe that Darnold has only maybe started in 10 or 11 games in his entire career. So I don't even think he's played a full season's worth of football. Then you have Tua Tango-Vailoa a team in the Dolphins that was the second worst team in the NFL, I believe actually, or actually they were the fifth worst. So that kind of impressive that they weren't even towards the top of the draft. It just seemed, I just kind of remember that they were with uh, Cincinnati. They're a five, one football team and Tua Tango Vailoa is coming off a major hip surgery. So I believe that Flores and Tua and the Miami Dolphins If Tua stays healthy, Flores proved that he could coach. The Miami Dolphins in future years could be on the brink of winning AFC East Division championships. The New York Jets, I don't really trust anything that Christopher Johnson is doing. I don't trust the quarterback. I don't trust the head coach at all. They have a lot of expensive free agents. The Jets are a mess. But the team that I think is the biggest threat this year to win the AFC East, it has to be the team that has won, what is it, like like 12 out of the last 13 or what is it, AFC East championships. That's got to be still the New England Patriots. And the Patriots still return an elite defense. They still return Stephon Gilmore, the defensive player of the year. So the New England Patriots... They, they have Jarrett Stidham. They don't have a great running game. Their wide receivers, other than Edelman, are nothing really spectacular. But they also have an, have an Nikhil Harry. Uh, you, you're getting a, 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 uh, a Bill Belichick that is very motivated. I'm sure Belichick is motivated all the time. They're bringing in a Jarrett Stidham, a new quarterback. But Jarrett Stidham's a four-star recruit. He had some really good games at Auburn. I think he could absolutely start in this league and be a pretty good quarterback. Uh, But Bill Belichick and the Patriots, they know how to win. And for Buffalo last year, the two games that they played in New England, they kind of played a little bit scared. Whether it was the game in Buffalo before Josh Allen hurt himself and it was um, and it was uh, Barkley, Matt Barkley, who came into the game, uh, Josh Allen and the, and the Bills offense did absolutely nothing uh, did absolutely nothing last year in that in that contest in that football game. Also, Josh Allen and the Bills, when they went to New England, they didn't get their footing down until the third quarter when they were able to then take a lead, but then they weren't able to stop Tom Brady in the fourth quarter to clinch out the game. So the Bills played very inconsistent and scared football when they played the Patriots. In the words of Michael Jordan, they pussyfooted around when they played the Patriots. They were scared. It was kind of like they were sneaking up on their big brother, and in this case, it is accurate. So... For this year, the Bills now, Tom Brady's not there, so the clutch factor of converting third downs, you're dealing with a rookie quarterback in Jarrett Stidham in New England. The defense is still very good, but the timeliness of Tom Brady and how Tom Brady could hurt you is a great example is in that fourth quarter uh, last year in Foxborough when the when the Bills took the lead, Brady returned the favor and was able to score the winning touchdown. And then they, he forced Josh Allen to have to go the length of the field. Josh Allen made unbelievable throws, but on the 10-yard line, that's when the, the drive stalled. So 
I, I am a proponent of the Buffalo Bills. I really love the Bills Mafia. I love Josh Allen's story from Fireball, California. I, I really like the players on Buffalo's team. A lot of classy individuals on that football team. Sean McDermott, Brandon Bean, building it the right way. Uh, but this year, we're going to see just how good of a coach Sean McDermott is. Because Sean McDermott, he got into the playoffs the first year with a 9-7 and team, and they were able to beat Atlanta. And, and the Bills made things happen, and then Andy Dalton had that game against, uh, I believe, was it the Ste No, the Ravens, where he threw that touchdown that allowed Buffalo to get into the playoffs. And then Buffalo ended up losing to Jacksonville when their defense played absolutely outstanding, but Taylor and the offense did nothing that game. So Sean McDermott, you know, good defensive coordinator, has Leslie Frazier there and has been fairly successful. But for Sean McDermott this year, I am still not sure if the if he has it in him to win the AFC East championship. I think it is theoretical that the Patriots can still win the AFC East. I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm just analyzing the situation right now in this video. But if I had to choose one way or the other, it's going to be very, very close. But I would probably take the Bills at like 10-6 and six by a game over the Patriots at 9-7. and seven. But it's completely theoretical that these teams, they're basically even. It is theoretical that the New England Patriots can still win the AFC East next year. Here's the point, though, about the Buffalo Bills. And if you go back and look at their schedule last year. Okay, and again, I'm a big Bills proponent, but I'm just laying out to you what exactly happened last year. So the Buffalo Bills last year, they ended up beating the Jets the first week of the season. If you remember that game, Josh Allen, it was crazy. Josh, um, uh, what's his name? Brian Dable was throwing the ball at, at, an, at an enormous clip. It didn't even look like the sport of football. He was throwing Josh Allen to the Wolves in the first game. Um, Le'Veon Bell, I think, goes down somewhere in that game and... No, it's C.J. Mosley gets hurt after I think he might have had a pick six earlier. But the Bills defense steps up, and Josh Allen, to his credit, makes an unbelievable throw to uh, Josh Allen, the, to John Brown, the Smokey Brown, to take the lead and win. Um, but again, that was a first-year coach, and that's a quarterback who really hasn't had a lot of success in the league And Sam Darnold. That was the first game, but that was still a good win. Then they went and played Eli Manning. Eli Manning's last start until, what was it, week 14 and 15. The Giants last year, a fired coach in Pat Shermer, a horrendous defense. The Bills were able to win that game. Then they played the Cincinnati Bengals. That was a team that, what, went one win? I, but yeah, one in 15. So the way that the that the Bills started their their schedule, they were three and zero, but they played absolute crap teams, and that's just facts. That is just facts, and that is why if the Patriots win the division, you're going to come back and you're going to analyze that Sean McDermott and this Bills season. It might not have been as sweet as it as it sounds or as it seemed, uh, but wins are wins, right? But let's just put everything in perspective going back to last year. Okay, then the Patriots beat the Bills. It's the Matt Barkley game I alluded to earlier. The Bills offense absolutely played awful in that game last year. Then the Bills beat a Titans team, and this is before Derrick Henry. This is the Marcus Mariota Titans team. So in these games, the Bills are winning. They're, they're beating an older Eli Manning. They're beating Andy Dalton. They're beating Marcus Mariota and horrid special teams from the Titans. Now, the Bills' defense plays ridiculous, but the offense only puts up 14 points. And even in that Bengals game, the Bills were down until the fourth quarter of that game, so it was pretty ugly. Uh, the Bills end up beating the Dolphins, but the Dolphins had a lead on the Bills in the third quarter, so ugly, ugly wins. Uh, the Eagles game was a disaster. Uh, third quarter, the defense actually let down the offense. Josh Allen tried to do as much as he could. Good. Bills come back with a strong showing against the Redskins. They go to Cleveland. Now, in this game in Cleveland, I'm not going to completely get on the Bills for this game or get on the offense because they still drove the rock down the field and had opportunities to win. But then you look at the Bills. They were able to play the Dolphins that were terrible, the Jets. Um, the Denver Broncos and Joe Flacco. So you start looking at the quarterbacks that who that the Bills beat. They beat Joe Flacco. They beat Dwayne Haskins early in his career. They beat Marcus Mariota, Ryan Fitzpatrick, 
Andy Dalton, Eli Manning, you go down this list, Jason Garrett, no longer a head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. These are all non-playoff teams for the most part. They beat Duck Hodges. So those are the quarterbacks that the Buffalo Bills were beating were Flacco, Duck Hodges, Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, Dwayne Haskins. Marcus Mariota, Andy Dalton. So these quarterbacks aren't exactly putting out just the the greatest products, and they're not exactly winning wars. And this year, the Bills are going to have a tougher schedule uh, than last year. You just look at a snapshot of maybe uh, of the Buffalo schedule. Now, in fairness to uh, the Bills and in fairness to Bean and this entire team, this team it should get better. D- a motor Singletary is, is heading into year two. Josh Norman is a veteran presence that certainly can play at an elite, elite level. Um, at least for one year. Dawson Knox is also really young. It's the first year of Cole Beasley. It's the first year of John Brown. Duke Williams coming back. Gabriel Davis you add. You add some some receivers now. And, of course, you add Stephon Diggs to the mix. Uh, On the defensive side, you get Epinesa, Vernon Butler. Uh, Ed Oliver's going to come back. And um, and then the defense, Malonzo, Alexander did retire, but the defense is completely intact. So the roster itself looks very, very talented. It's just in terms of could the offense put up the points that are necessary? Uh, could the offense put up the points that are necessary uh, to win these football games? So that it, we're really going to see how great of a coach Sean McDermott is in this first year, in this first installation here in the AFC East. We're going to see uh, can Sean McDermott and can Josh Allen, can they win the AFC East this year? But yeah, I want to go to the schedule right now, kind of overlapping everything in. And the Bills schedule, and again, starting the season, your early portion of your schedule, like you look at the Eagles schedule, they can be 3-0. and So your early portion of the schedule, early portion of the schedule is incredibly, incredibly important. So the Bills start out, they, they host a game... Bills start out, they host the Jets, then they go to Miami. That could be 2-0, and so that's a good way to start it. Then you have the L.A. Rams, you could be 3-0. and uh, Go to the L.A. Raiders, that's going to be a tougher game, but you could be 3-0, and so the Bills' schedule isn't rough. Then you have the Tennessee Titans, but in the middle, you get the Kansas City Chiefs, you have the Patriots, you have Seattle, you go to Arizona, then you have the Chargers, the Niners towards the back half of this schedule. Niners, Steelers, Broncos, Patriots towards the back half of the schedule. So actually, it's looking like the Bills are going to get off to a very decent start, and that is actually very, very important. So I think the Bills can win the NFC East, and I'm going to pick them right now on this show. The Bills are going to win the AFC East. They're going to win it narrowly over the Patriots. The Patriots will certainly be in the playoffs. Jarrett Stidham will be a successful quarterback, but I'm picking the Buffalo Bills to win this division. And then you look at the Bills. Could the Bills possibly get to a Super Bowl? That even could be, um, you know, another video where we could talk about the AFC's great contenders. We can talk about the Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs and can Buffalo stack up with those teams. But for Josh Allen, he's not getting paid a lot of money. And when you're a starting quarterback, your first five to six years, it's time for you to win. It's time for you to be a Tom Brady, a a Ben Roethlisberger, an Eli Manning. Try to win a Super Bowl early. Look at Russell Wilson's career. Uh, He was able to win that Super Bowl, and then he was able to to kind of flex those wings or flex those muscles uh, later in his career. So for Josh Allen, this is his time to prove that he can win. If Josh Allen wins and wins deep in the playoffs, he's going to then get a a second contract, and he's going to be a quarterback for the long time in Buffalo. And if Josh ever brings them a title, they're going to build a statue of Josh Allen and of Sean McDermott and Stephon Diggs and Starla Tuolele. They're going to build a statue of everybody then in in the great city of Buffalo and the great state of New York. Uh, So this could be the year for the Buffalo Bills. They have a lot of cohesiveness. I like that Brian Dable's coming back. 
Leslie Frazier, everybody in the coaching staff returning. You added Davis Webb, who, who t- or continues to stay at the quarterback position. And uh, overall, it's an exciting time for the Buffalo Bills. But can they win the AFC East over the New England Patriots? How good of a coach is Sean McDermott? Because in that game against Houston last year, they, they were dominating the game against Houston. They didn't have that killer instinct. Against Pittsburgh, they didn't just dominate Duck Hodges. Um, even against Miami at home, like I pointed out last year, um, against the Jets, a lot of these are come from behind kind of wins where it's like, okay, we should be better than this team, right? But are we? Uh, just like the Bengals game uh, for the first three quarters, it was sometimes messy to watch. Can the Buffalo Bills take that next step where they're blowing out teams that they should? That is the progression of kind of a young team and a young franchise. And I think McDermott has really done a good job. Uh, again, I was one of those guys who said Sean McVay was a better hire than McDermott. McDermott's kind of a defensive guy. But McDermott has held his own in the league and surpassed my expectations thus far this year when you're talking about Tua you're talking about Jared Stidham these rookie quarterbacks this is the year Buffalo is going to be favored to win the division and this is probably the best chance you get Miami when they're down New England's kind of going through some turnover at the quarterback position this is a time where you can possibly win the division and where you should win the AFC East so it is going to be a spectacular season and again I'll be doing some Bills content. I'll be doing other content throughout the week here on Rover Sports. Hope you guys like the